Hello everybody, this is my finished uh, creeper cover <laughs> that I did for class. Um, it's not very really dark, maybe I can figure out how to darken it up. Something like that. Maybe I'll post it somewhere else. But anyways, there's that. I'm gonna... I may not even turn this one in. We have another week. We're actually doing like a skip week this week, so I may do another one and turn that one in. Um, whatever you get for one of these classes as homework, it's always a good idea to do extra on your own to see what else you can learn from it. That said, let's finish this final panel here on Lady of Sorrow Springs. And there's just one more panel left. And I know you can't really see anything. There we go. Maybe it's a little bit better. But in this uh, particular page, for this panel, Eli is getting bitten by the were rat, transferring the curse. Well, he's already got the curse, but it's transferring the the um, the full rat form. Supposedly, he already has the curse. There we go. So we have our, our threatening rat creature right here, and then we're going to see him from above. I think his eyes should be closed when he bites. It's really big ears. Okay. Now Eli has kind of like he's got this little wispy beard, so we're gonna. that in there. I'm using this little lightning bolt. This is cartooning language. It shows that contact was made. Actually, I didn't like the thickness of that line. We may even consider doing like a black outline for this, but maybe not. Look, like if the, if we make the blood black, then, then sort of a black background will we'll end up causing us problems in the long run. But 
this looks pretty good. All right, a couple of problems that I have are where the speech bubbles are. You don't know that. Starts out here, and we're done talking Eli. We're going to use the blank space. The reason these are kind of in weird areas is because... Where's Ea? Ea right here. It's because I did all kinds of... Rearrangement. Okay, let's pull the uh, pencil layer off. Let's see how it reads. I think this is reading okay. A couple of different concerns that you have whenever you're trying to create something for comics. It isn't about, like I've said on, on multiple occasions, it isn't about making the most impressive artwork. Your artwork just has to read, which means it has to be clear what's going on. Um, it's a good idea if it's visually um, interesting and stimulating. I think it should always be visually interesting. If you can manage it. But even sort of mid-level artwork is, is probably fine as long as your story's good. And your story's carrying across. What well, you're you're trying to tell an illustrated story to get across communicate a narrative. And that's more important than any kind of impressive artwork that you might have. I'm not against impressive artwork at all. I think it's important too, but that's not what comics are about, really. And the further you get away from that, the slower and less interesting your comics will be. You can have these amazing looking portfolios of drawings, but they, if you're not telling a cohesive and interesting story, you may not have a great comic. Probably don't. All right. We're going to do our bubbles. You don't know that. I think that we should emphasize the word no. So let's make that bold. And actually, we're done talking, Eli. We might make this whole statement bold. Right? Pretty good. I remember the rats talk like this. Okay. We're done talking. Like there we go. First of all, let's do this. I'm looking at my speech bubble and I'm thinking, I want to make this. I 
There we go. Now, how could we further add to this? We've got the whole page done, but I think it could use some depth. And that is done through tones. So we're going to grab some beat tone shaders. Specifically the rough dot shader. This is a pressure sensitive shader, so... Um, if I bear down hard, I'll get thicker, more denser dots or a darker tone. And if I do it lightly, I'll get kind of a light tone. I think these guys in the foreground deserve to be shaded, shaded up. That brings them closer to the foreground. Same deal here. We can also soften some curves by using tones. You can also use it on these action lines, like if we want to. We can shade inside the action lines. And that is also a pretty cool effect. Just kind of softens the, uh, the border a little bit. Okay, all this is looking good. When you have an extreme close-up like this, you can go way more into depth and detail because the whole point of having an extreme close-up is to go into more depth and detail. Remember when I said I was going to consider doing this in black? Oh, I'm doing this in the bubbles layer, that was so dumb. Oh, I've got to do those bubbles too. Alright, fair. fair enough. I'm going to put it in level 20, area 21, or layer 21. But if we couldn't get away with black, we could get away with the tone. And that gives us some rhythmic movement. Am I in the right layer? I am. Okay. Some rhythmic movement between dark and light. Light, dark, light, dark. erase all the excess. There's some still sitting on the bubbles layer. Alright, let's fix all this. Stuff on the bubbles layer, right here. Maybe up here? Nope. What over here? Right, 
this is all looking pretty good. All right, choose white, go back to the bubbles layer. We're going to do some fill-ins. Boom. Boom. Recent brush liner. All right, we have the opportunity to do some kind of cleanups. All right, all that's looking pretty good. We've got two more bubbles to do. One right here. Hallowed ground. I'm gonna make hallowed ground bold. And out. And the word curse. Lift the curse. There we go. Well, it's comic book logic. <laughs> All right. All right. If you have pretty classic speech bubble like this. I've got I've created a tangent with that one. Let's let's move if we kill. Lift the curse. Put it right there. You want to go from the center of the bubble towards the speaker. And in this case, we can connect these two bubbles. All right, and I think we did it. All right, that's page four. Please like, follow, and share. <laughs> and uh, we'll be starting on page five tomorrow. <laughs>